how I stay focused throughout my day with this automation. Every morning at 7 a.m., I get my to-do list for the day from all the high-priority Jira tasks. I get my complete meeting schedule from Google Calendar and all the team updates from the past day directly as a daily digest into my personal Slack channel. This keeps me focused and productive every single day. Imagine waking up every morning to a perfectly organized day. Your calendar, your tasks, your team updates from Slack all summarized and ready to go. Sounds like you have a personal assistant. No, but you can in the next 10 minutes. Welcome to my 28 day AI automation challenge where every single day this February, I'm gonna be dropping a new AI automation workflow that will make you and your business 20 to 30 times more efficient. And I just hope I don't miss even a single day. Well, we're doing it all. Productivity, HR, sales, marketing, project management, lead nurturing, lead generation, and whatnot. All of this using no code tool called Gumroup. And no, this is not a sponsored video, not a sponsored series. I'm just a fan of this product. And I think there is immense value that you can draw from this product. So today we're kicking this off with a daily digest workflow automation. We'll combine your calendar, your Jira tasks, your Slack updates into one single clean summary that will be delivered to you every single morning so that you stay on top of your day. So let's get started. So let's start off this series by understanding what Gumloop is all about because we'll be using this uh, throughout this month of February. Now Gumloop is a platform where we can build powerful automations without writing a single line of code. It offers an intuitive and collaborative platform to create AI powered workflow automations, which are called flows. And you do this using their predefined components, which are called nodes. So why Gumloop? There are other tools like make.com and Zapier. I think that this is by far the most user-friendly and intuitive platform. And this is AI first. So you have different types of AI workflows, different types of AI based nodes. So let's get ourselves familiar with this platform so that uh, you are able to seamlessly follow this entire series. First of all, sign up using this get started button, sign up, sign in. As soon as you sign in, you will land at this hub page. So after you have logged in, every time you log on to gumloop.com, it'll take you to the hub. Hub is where all of your work is going to be. So you can create all of your workflows in this way. All of them are going to get listed here. You can create uh, a directory and keep all of your flows within those directories as well. If I create a new flow, I can click on this plus button here, new flow. This creates a canvas for me, just like this. I can zoom in and out. This follows a similar structure as Google Sheets. So at the bottom, if you see, I can add multiple flows. So these are basically subflows. I can combine multiple subflows to make a bigger workflow. Great. Another important thing that makes a workflow here is their predefined components, which are called nodes. So as you can see, add your first node. This canvas is currently empty. If I click on this, it opens up this panel from the left hand side. You can click on this plus button from here as well. In the node library, I'll have different types of nodes that Gumloop offers. So these are a few core nodes. So you can see a bunch of AI nodes that they offer. Ask AI, extract data, summarizer, categorizer, scorer, all sorts of different types of tasks that you can do with AI based on your use case, based on your requirements. Then we have scraping, flow basics, manipulation, browser extension, file operations. You have integrations with other applications like Notion, Outlook, Gmail, LinkedIn, Discord, GitHub. And if you want a specific, a custom integration, you can always reach out to me or the team and they will create an integration for yourself based on your requirements. That's it. You can have a subflow library as well. You can see all of these flow two, flow three, flow four. These are the subflows that are listed here that you can use. At the top, we have the new workbook uh, title. You can change this. So let's say title one. Okay, this is the title of my workbook. So title one is my workbook and I can have multiple flows within a workbook. You can add interface. We'll talk about it later. I can share it with other people. So. I can add an email address here and I'll be able to share my workflow with other people. 
add a trigger so you can create a trigger add a trigger based on your requirements how you want to start the workflow for example if there is a new email in your inbox a workflow can be triggered or if you want a workflow to be triggered let's say at 7 a.m every morning you can do that as well then we have webhooks this is premium tier we'll talk about it later then we have save you can do command s or control s from your keyboard or click this button here and then there is this run button so let's build something very simple let's say core node i use ask ai this is one simple node and here you can say you know how to make ramen so you can see that this these are the inputs that this node takes prompt is the first input then we have context if you want to provide context for example if you have read a pdf document that needs to go into this node as context you can do that so the pdf text can come into context from here right now this is optional okay from here choose ai model there are a bunch of models that you can choose from they've also added deepseek v3 and r1 so let's try deepseek v3 for now so that's it and we'll click on run from the top right and this will run this particular workflow this panel from the right hand side opens up it'll show you the progress of your run there you go we have a response from deepseek v3 this is the complete ramen recipe that we have got and it has incurred us three credits so when you sign up gumloop automatically gives you thousand credits every single month if you're in the free tier if you need more uh, credits to run so then you'll go to into startup plan and their pro plans it took us three credits to run this ai node there are different costs for different types of nodes that's it now that we have got ourselves used to this platform and how it works let's get on to our main workflow for the daily digest automation i need the jira summary slack summary and calendar summary so i've created individual flows or you can say sub flows i've got a jira summary workflow then i've got a slack summary workflow and a calendar summary workflow i am pulling them all together into this main workflow i have called it complete flow so you can rename each of these workflows by clicking on this rename button from here and uh, yeah so you can see i have got the subflows if you are wondering how to add subflows you have to go to subflow library and there all of your flows are going to be listed like this that's it slack summary jira summary calendar summary and then i am using date time to capture the date for today because i want the digest for the day that's about to happen so today's date it's going to be triggered let's say 7 a.m 8 a.m you can add trigger based on whenever you need it so i'll just run it for now i'm pulling the summaries and putting them together in this combined text node and then i am getting them delivered to my personal slack channel it's called daily digest i am delivering the summary into my slack so let's quickly run this to understand how this is working and then we'll go over each of these individual subflows so date time captured slack summary captured jira summary captured success success so i should have the message here now so there we have it we have daily digest for 31st january 2025 this is my slack summary this is giving me summary from this project viplane channel then i have my to-do list so if you scroll on i have my to-do list for the day to-do list is coming from jira so you can see i have all of these issues open up i have uh, the status to do and in progress it's only capturing to do an in progress tasks which have high or highest priority so based on that i've got the to-do list summary the task that i have to look into today and then meeting schedule for the day this is my uh, meeting schedule so 31st of january these are the meetings that are coming up so all of these meetings 10 30 a.m stand up 30 minutes then meeting with jimmy and Harshit, one hour sales catch up with samir one hour so all of these summarized daily digest delivered right into my slack now how is this working so let's look into the jira summary workflow from here so it has run successfully let's look at how jira summary workflow has run and what it contains so jira summary workflow this is subflow i have added an input node you can name it whatever you want so here it's called number of issues that i want to read from jira so by default you can add a default value let's say i want to read 10 issues from jira then the main thing is the jira issue reader all you want is extract all the information from your jira into gumloop so that it can summarize all that information and gumloop offers different types of integrations as you can see 
One integration that they offer is Jira, where three different types of nodes are available. You can read the issue, you can write or create a new issue, or you can update existing issues. So we are using issue reader. We want to extract all the information. So if you see, they've got resource. You need to first connect your Jira account with the issue reader. So I have two projects, learn Jira in 10 minutes and we play an app. Then there are a couple of filters, status, priorities, labels. You can filter the issues by status, by label, by assignee, issue type, all of those things. And then you can specify what the value should be of that particular filter. Then what all information do you want to extract about that issue? You can extract summary, URL, status, priority, label, issue type, all of those things. In my workflow, this is what my structure is. The project is Viplay and app, status and priorities. These are the two filters that I've added. Status of the issue should be to do or in progress. Priority should be high, highest, medium. And I want all the information about the issue, summary, URL, priority, and status. That's it. So all of these issues are going to be read as per the filter condition. We will put them all together. Another date time input that I'm trying to capture. So it'll basically look into the due date and all of those other things. That's it. I'll join the list, put them all together, all the issue texts, etc. All their information is going to be combined into one single text. Add the date for today. This is today's date as input two. Input two is basically coming from my date time node. And then there is the all the issues that I've read. This is coming from this join text. I'm again putting them together so that it goes into my AI node where I have asked, this is my prompt, create a brief bulleted to-do list. This basically summarizes, creates a nice Jira summary and then returns the complete Jira summary. So you can see Jira summary, this is the main output that is coming out of this particular node. And in the ask AI, I'm using Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Slack summary. For Slack summary, again, I need to provide the date, okay? It needs to be in ISO format. So Slack message reader, I need to read messages from this particular channel. Start date and end date is something that you have to provide. So you want to read Slack messages and the conversations that have happened the previous day. So here, if you see, I have added start date, which is minus one. That is from today, relative date offset. This is the option that I've turned on. So this is going to be my start date and today is going to be my end date. So all the messages up until that point, start date, end date, entered as input. I want to read all the message information. For this example, I have not extracted all of that other information. I have captured all the messages. Join list item because they're going to be multiple messages. So it's going to be a list. I want to turn that list into a text, pass it into AI, ask it to summarize, and then I got the Slack summary. So that's how I got my Slack summary. This is how you can check what actually was the output view run. And you can see in the Slack summary, this was my final output. So it read all the messages. It read all the messages in this project Viplane channel and then summarized it. Lastly, calendar summary. Again, this time we're using Google Calendar Event Reader. It takes start date, end date again. I'm providing, it's going to be the same since I'm going to trigger this workflow at 7 a.m., 8 a.m. in the morning. So basically the date is going to be the same. So I need the report for today. Event information, name, start time, event duration, attendee emails, all of this information I want to extract from this Google Calendar event reader. I combine them. So they're going to be multiple meetings. Each meeting would have, you know, all these details, the duration, the time, attendee emails, all of these things. So it's going to be a list. Again, I combine them. First of all, I put them into this particular format, each meeting, and then I combine that entire list of meetings into one single text using this join list items. So you can turn multiple list items into a text. This is a text. So you can check out the output from the calendar summary. So view run. So here you go, calendar event reader, combine items, and then this is the complete output of join list item. It basically gives you a complete text block that you can pass to AI node. If you pass on a list, the AI node will run multiple times. So you can see, that here, one, two, three, this is running in loop, combining the text for each and every list item. That's why it's running multiple times because there are going to be multiple meetings. But I want the AI node to run only one single time. 
That's why I have turned all the list item into one single text using join list items. Then the context is passed to the AI node. I have uh, added the prompt, summarize the meeting here for the day in bullet points. Each meeting should be short and should be bulleted. Return the bullet point summary and nothing else. That's it. Claude 3.5 Sonnet. This also gives me the output, complete flow runs, and then gives me the output in my Slack channel daily digest. So that's how I have created this complete workflow. Now, in order to add trigger, so if you want to add trigger, let's say you want to run this workflow every morning at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., so you can add that. So it's going to ask me, describe how often you want to run this. So every day at 7 a.m. That's it, generate. So it has set up. They're also using AI to set things up for yourself. So you have to be on a premium plan to use triggers. And if you you know decide to get one, and if you need this, uh, you can use my code, Tiagi GLP. It's going to get you 20% off. Again, I'm not, uh, you know, this is not sponsored, but I'm actually an advocate. So they loved my work. So they decided that you should become an advocate. And that's, that's uh, uh, you know, one of the benefits that I've got. So there you have it. A simple no code automation that lets you stay on top of your day and saves you hours every week. But that's just day one. Tomorrow, I'm revealing another workflow that will keep you prepared for every meeting. Business meeting, sales meeting, interviews. You'll have all the details about your clients, your leads, your candidates. And as a business leader or a manager or an executive, you should be using these automations to get more stuff done. Become an AI powered executive to get 20 to 30 X more done without burning your team out. And yes, if you found this useful, if you found this insightful, please give this a like so that it reaches more people like yourself. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss tomorrow's video. Trust me, you'll want to see this. That's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.